Hi, welcome back. In a previous video, we learned about NumPy indexing and selection. These are the topics that we covered in that video. If you haven't watched it yet or are interested in learning more about these concepts, I'd suggest you check out that video as well. In this video, we're going to be exploring NumPy operations. Our lesson structure involves learning about addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division with NumPy, advanced mathematical operations, as well as some other functions like seal, floor, trunk, and absolute. Let's jump right in. So in this, we're going to import NumP as MP as always. Um, and we're going to start out with uh, creating an array that by using the np.arrange function with um, a 10 in the perimeter. Um, so this will create a, um, an array that is length 10, starting from 0 all the way up till 9. So um, we're just going to see some basic operations here, some math operations. So ARR plus ARR, this is basically just going to add every element um, in the ARR array. So it's just going to double each element, basically. So um, this is known as element-wise addition. So we're going to perform some element-wise subtraction now. Um, and that because we're subtracting each element from itself, we're just going to get a bunch of zeros. Um, so now we're going to try doing some multiplication. This is just going to perform um, element-wise multiplication. So it's just going to multiply each number um, by itself in this case. Now we're going to do division. In this case, it kind of gives us a little warning. It's not crashing, but it's just saying that in the first one, we're performing a, a, a zero division. Um, and so it's, it's uh, outputting NAN for that first one because zero divided by zero is um, undefined. Um, okay. So now we're going to do uh, ARR times 2, which is basically going to multiply every element times 2. Um, and now we are going to do um, exponents. So ARR and then the double multiplication sign 4 is going to take everything to the fourth power. So um, as we can see, we have like um, 81. And so 3 to the power 4 is 81. And that aligns with the 3 in our original ARR array. So we can kind of see how that works. Now we're going to perform some um, general mathematical operations that are um, a little more advanced. So um, here is np.log. If you aren't um, familiar with logarithms, then you can um, search that up in your own time. But um, basically, these are just some operations that are existing in the NumPy library that we can use on um, a NumPy array. So here is square root, um, basically take the square root of each element. So all of these are kind of element-wise operations. So whatever we say, it performs it to each element um, separately. Um, now we're going to look at uh, some, some uh, functions that have to do more with decimals. So I'm going to create a new array and call it ARRDEC. Um, and we're going to call this uh, RANDN function, uh, pass in a 10. Um, and this is going to output a um, random array that um, uh, goes from negative 1 to 1 um, that has 10 elements. Um, so these are all between negative 1 and 1. And it's easier to explore things when we have a, a more varied array. So I'm going to multiply this whole thing by 5. Um, and it's going to kind of get some more variance in here. So now that we have this, um, I'm going to say np.seal and then um, say ARRDEC. So what this is going to do is it's going to kind of round everything um, up. And so negative 1.5 rounded up is negative 1 because negative 1 is greater than negative 1.5. Similarly, the next one, 1.07 rounded up is going to be 2. Um, so how I remember seal is basically sealing is up above, so it rounds it up. Um, now, kind of contrary to this, it's, it's pretty um, self-explanatory, np.floor. Um, floor is on the ground, it's going to round down. So instead of rounding up, when you say np.floor, ARRDEC, it's going to output an array where each element in the original array, ARRDEC, is rounded down, as we can see right here. Now we're going to try np.trunk, and so this one is going to truncate each decimal. So it's basically going to um, discard everything that's after the decimal in each um, element. And so negative 1.59 blah blah blah, it's going to take out that 0.59 and just output negative 1. Now the last one we're going to look at is absolute, which takes the absolute value of each element. So it just takes off the negative sign for each one. 
So um, this is kind of a sample of the operations that are available in the NumPy library. If you'd like a more complete list, you can go ahead and click on the link that I've included in the description box. Well, that's it for now. If you've enjoyed the content in this video, make sure to give it a like and comment down below any questions you may have. I've also included a little activity in the description box that relates to the skills we learned in this video, so I welcome you to try that out as well. If you're new here, then make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any videos that'll help you on your journey towards mastering artificial intelligence. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.